Howdy folks, today we're going to talk about the problems in our industry regarding roofing and siding and the methodology that causes mold, rot, and many issues that are bad. We have the underlayment craze which has taken hold and really spoiled our trades. Uh, the underlayments are so formidable. They've contributed to bad methodology. Once the installers put them on, they actually think they've put on a roof or siding. And this is serious because it causes mold, causes rot. And I'm going to show you a job that we did. We're about $40,000 worth of damage. And who knows the cost of the health of the inhabitants. Uh, that's our example of devastation today. A mold remediation. And we fixed the cause. And the cause was the underlayment craze. Bad methodology. And I'm going to sum it all up. I'm going to uh, talk to you about why, uh, why this has happened. This is happening over and over and over in the industry daily. Uh, these underlayments were invented because there was a need. Uh, the underlayment craze, ice and water underlayment, was invented to answer the, the 1980s heavy snow and ice uh, in the winter to cause ice dams. Really, ice dams are caused by poor attic insulation, bad ventilation, uh, tighter homes. Uh, that's what causes it. There's no need for underlayment if, if the job is right, but it has blown way out of proportion. They use it at every juncture and flashing, and they actually think, the installers think, that this is a roof. Then they nail the shingles on top, and and really they, they compromise on their flashings because they got this product, and it just sheds to uh, a 15-pound fell if it's overlapped properly. It's not a roof. It's not a flashing. Salesman comes out to sell you underlayments. He talks more about underlayments than the actual primary product. Tell him to leave. You don't want his product. House wraps, uh, they're not necessarily, they're not a bad thing. Uh, but everybody's into taping up their windows and, uh, such. These were invented for, to answer the call of ice dams. Nothing wrong with them, with their use. But, their misuse is a problem. On the inside of the walls, moisture migrates to the outside and is trapped beneath these products. Uh, the, the primary sidings out there using J channels to cover the thermal expansion of the, of the, uh, siding. These J channels collect water and send the water behind the wall. And the, and the house wraps do not allow moisture they're not permeable as advertised. They are permeable, but when you enter in the cold to the heat, uh, that moisture cannot get through. It cannot get through. So uh, the whole permeable argument is null and void. Bad methodology. This is bad methodology. So the installers go about rolling out their ice and water underlayment on roofs, even low slope roofs below a 4 on 12. They're down to a 2 on 12 or an inch and a half rise per foot now. The windows are being taped because they think it stops leaks. They're, they're relying upon this stuff. Water to get underneath the primary waterproofing membrane to the underlayment. Here's a house that looks pretty innocent, but it's got a very critical area. Now, Valley Juncture, they nailed up a gutter. That's no place for a gutter in that little spot there. Uh, that water was channeled down by these underlayments right into that siding. Laterally the water flew, uh, flowed and we have uh, we had a two-story addition on a, on, a, on a split level. We've got many different levels of floors for that water to cascade down. That header there uh, that holds up the, uh, the awning was all rotting. This was a devastating $40,000 nightmare, and that's just dollars. People's health was compromised. Stachy Botrys was found in the front. That's a deadly mold. It's proven to kill people. 
Uh, this is how ridiculous this can get. This is going to go into the seriousness of this matter. Uh, we can talk about this. Uh, l look at this. These new age guys that installers, applicators, armed with all these band-aids and wonder goo and, and underlayments and, and nonsense. And they put a gutter up there like it's actually going to catch that water. And put a gutter screen on it. That gutter never caught that water. That water ran behind the wall, much of it. Look, this is wrapped up plenty tight. And that water went laterally into the house for years. Caused devastation and, and threatened the structure of the house, the health of the individuals. Uh, it was serious. The front of the house was torn off here kind of haphazardly by the engineer that was hired by the uh, by the client's uh, lawyer. Uh, but at any rate, when we got it off, look at this rot. Look at that black mold. That stodgy botrys. The worst mold you could possibly have. It's killed people, especially infants. It has killed infants. In Ohio, I believe it is. Look it up. Um... Bad news, uh, microtoxins coming off that are horrendous. Uh, the rot and the mold were competing, just eating away this house. And this is just the outside. Once we got the uh, outside fixed, which was a six-week job, we moved to the inside, and it was a nightmare. It cannot be understated the seriousness of the presence of Stachy Botrys in your home. It will kill you. It could kill you. Don't want to make anybody afraid here, but this is serious business. And uh, to have it come from stupidity. Now, now this uh, this damage went all the way down to the foundation. The inside was a total wreck. Uh, with mold coming right into the house, right through the wall, eating away. For, it took about five years off and on every leak. It would spring into exist, you know, growth and, and get bigger and worse. Um, so we've shown you an example of devastation. Uh, look at this. A gutter will not catch that water. Why do they put a gutter there? That's our job. That's a flat seam and so soldered uh, copper um, Splash pan and uh, scupper box, and it's finished off with oils, with oil-based tenors paint. Uh, we finish our junctures properly, bring the water out onto the roof. Now look us up, uh, click on the link below, give me a call. Don't make a mistake of getting the wrong person to do your job. Good luck to you.